Hello, readers. Today, we're going to read a book called A Frankenstein Valentine, written by Samantha Berger. Have you seen my little sweetheart, Frankenstein? You can't miss Frankenstein on Valentine's Day. You would say, Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Frankenstein would say, Yeah. You would say, Look who got brand new heart undies. Frankenstein would say, Yeah. You would say, Don't forget to bring roses for all of your teachers. Frankenstein would say, Yeah. You might see Frankenstein get a big red smooch on the school bus. Yuck. Or eating a heart-shaped peanut butter and jelly sandwich and heart-shaped apple slices. Yuck. And using a heart-shaped napkin covered in hearts. Yuck. You may even find Frankenstein making his own kind of Frankenstein Valentine. Heh. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. Valentine's Day stinks. Seriously. He you. You could certainly find him biting into a chocolate with surprise hairy coconut inside. Yuck. Frankenstein does not care for that kind of chocolate. Or helping to make the mushy, gushy Valentine's Day garlic. Frankenstein does not appreciate helping to make the mushy, gushy Valentine's Day garland. And you're guaranteed to find Frankenstein in the Valentine's Day school pageant. Frankenstein never said he wanted to be in the Valentine's Day school pageant. Nope, there's absolutely no way, no doubt, not now, not ever, that Frankenstein wants anything to do with Valentine's Day. Except for maybe one thing. A best friend. Who understands exactly how you feel. Roses are red, violets are blue. On Valentine's Day, I feel just like you. Ew. Only 364 days until next Valentine's Day. The end.